What celebrity death was the saddest for you? Grant Imahara. I have to comment every time I see this question cause that dude was one of the main reasons I got into STEM. More than just an entertainer, he showed such enthusiasm for engineering that it made me really want to get into it. Alan Rickman. John Candy. I still get super bummed out thinking about Heath Ledger. Mr. Rogers. Anton Yelchin and Grant Imahara. Anthony Borden. No Reservations was my favorite show when I was a teen and he it was immensely influential in the trajectory of my interests and career goals. Phil Hartman. Damn that one hurt. John Ritter. Robin Williams. Cameron Boyce. He was in a lot of the shows that I used to watch. He got a lot of seizures due to his epilepsy and one of them killed him. He was only 20. Alia. She was too young. Same with Selena. A breakout star. I'm going to have to say Anton Yelchin. Such a tragic accident that could have happened to anyone. He was only 27, I think, and died with his car suffocating him to death in his own driveway. Alone, scared, and probably a relatively slow death. Truly tragic disappointed but relieved face. Chadwick Boseman. Chester Bennington. Alex Trebek. John Denver by far. He was only 53 there was still so much music to make and share. I cried for a few months about it. It really hurt too that so many people made fun of him and how he died. When I was 10 years old back in 1976 my mom and I moved to Glenwood Springs, Colorado and I fell in love with the mountains. We were dirt poor but I loved it. We moved a year later my mom just couldn't make it there and John was forever my connection to nature, the mountains, and Colorado. I still listen to his music almost every day. Norm MacDonald Chris Cornell Steve Irwin Like the world still needed him Tom Petty Amazing musician His songs were like distilled Americana very toe-tapping folksy for most of his career and amazingly soulful in his later work. Never got to see him live, and kept telling myself, ah. I'll catch the next tour. Died before I ever could. Freddie Mercury. Not unexpected, but definitely the saddest. Chris Farley. His last words to the hooker when he was oding was please don't leave. Didn't help I saw a pic of him somewhere on the ground in the aftermath. Philip Seymour Hoffman George Carlin Brandon Lee He was on the verge of stardom. River Phoenix Alan Rickman pensive face pensive face Leslie Jordan Robbie Coltrane I think was his name. He was the actor for Hagrid in Harry Potter and it broke my soul and I remember being when finding out he was gone. I wept when Christina Grimmy got shot by that obsessed fan. She had just come off The Voice, released her first album, and was on tour. I was in love with her. I need to add another. Bill Paxton. Loved that guy. Does Avisi count? Ray Liotta. Carrie Fisher. Always our princess. I absolutely adored her. Loved Star Wars, loved her books, loved her interviews. Always wanted to meet her. Black Heart Hash. Edit tie for the plat the 3rd of May the force be with you, kind stranger. Chadwick Boseman. I had only seen him in one or two movies before Black Panther. But my boys had a love for that movie and that character like nothing else is popular culture. He was the first black superhero they had ever seen and we sobbed together when he passed. 
it was even hard for them to watch the movie for a while. I think about the hope and smiles that he gave to so many and I am so thankful for him. His smile was infectious. Since so many people have named Robin Williams, I'm going to mention another that just flattened me. Nichelle Nichols. Lieutenant Nyota Uhura. One of the most influential women of her time, especially in getting women of color involved with the sciences and NASA. FLY hi, bo today I fucked up El Dreamer. Not the saddest but boy prince both definitely felt momentous. Sean Locke. Whitney Houston, she had such a gift and so much sadness, then the fucking drugs. Then Bobby Christina it's too sad. Chester Bennington. Linkin Park was the first band I ever remember falling in love with me and my sister played Met RA so many times on our little CD player the whole album skipped eventually, it was the first album we ever owned and we literally wore it out. And when my life got hard and my sister died he was one of the artists who gave real voice to my pain, I spent a lot of nights singing along to Linkin Park when I felt lost. I loved his music for so many years and losing him was the first and only time a celebrity death ever made me cry. Rick Mile. Lord of Misrule. Brittany Murphy. Chris Cornell. Betty White. Kurt Cobain. Brittany Murphy. For whatever reason, I just feel this immense sadness when I remember her passing. She's a phenomenal actress and I've seen a few of her movies but I wouldn't say I am an avid fan at all, making it a bit strange since I tend to be passive with celebrities in general. Whenever I come across a picture or mention of her, I just feel some pain, as though she were a friend I once knew. Genuinely shocked I cannot find a single reference to Sinead O'Connor. She spoke truth to power and endured years of hatred and abuse for it, on top of her poor mental health. Her son disappeared and was found dead, and she was gone herself within a year. A sad, tragic and unfair end for a talented and brave woman. Kevin Conroy I felt sad about Robin Williams and Anthony Bourdain but they were in a state of pain where they seemingly welcomed death and I that they found rest. Conroy made me sad after reading through his difficult challenges with his personal life and then finding out he'd been hiding his illness for a while. Also, he was always just the absolute nicest to his fans and exceptional at what he did. I was glad he felt loved. But I grew up with that voice, that Batman, and while I felt happy he was released from his pain, I feel sad I'll never hear his voice in you ever again. Leonard Cohen Bernie Mac. Gene Wilder was a death that really shook me. He was a favorite actor and author of mine and it was hard for me. Just happened yesterday, WWE wrestler Bray Wyatt, died at the age of 36, I don't know how famous he is outside of WWE but that's my answer. Princess D.I. Absolutely no call for what happened. Luke Perry. Ayrton Senna. David Bowie. My older siblings listened to his earliest music back in the 60s and he was pretty much the soundtrack of my entire life. Michael Clark Duncan. Stan Lee and Chadwick Boseman. I'm still mourning. Patrick Swayze he was in all of my favorite movies growing up. Taylor Hawkins. Dolores O'Riordan, Songbird, Mac Miller, Adam Yatch MCA, Bob Ross or John Denver. Prince was tough, the whole state mourned him. Satori Iwata. I knew once that last Treehouse video was done with puppets, that his cancer must have gotten too hard to manage. He still did the show from his bed. He took meetings to ensure everyone knew how to ship all their great games. His last efforts were in making sure they'd ship the Switch, to set them straight after the Wii U failed. I miss his enthusiasm and vision. 
I scrolled way too far and didn't see his name. Lance Reddick. Come on people Lance fucking Reddick fringe. Destiny 2. John Wick. There will never be another like him. Technoblade, hands down. Sir Terry Pratchett. GNU Terry. Trevor Moore and Tom Petty. Stevie Ray Vaughan was the first celebrity death that had me in tears because I was a young guitar player and trying to learn all of his songs. He was my idol. Later in life Robin Williams, it just hit hard. Steve Irwin. John Candy. Eddie Van